Good morning from London, and a warm welcome from the United Kingdom as CBS Sports presents the National Football League. Today, it's the Miami Dolphins and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, about nine miles from central London, filled the capacity with a lot of fanfare for this second NFL game in England. Hi everyone, with Trent Green, Melanie Collins on our sideline, Kevin Harlan, thank you for joining us this morning. Well, we're approaching a third of the way through this regular season. We have two desperate teams for sure on the pitch here this afternoon. Well, Kevin, it's really two different types of desperation. So let's start with the Jacksonville Jaguars. After finishing 1-15 in a year ago, owner Shad Khan spent a lot of money to convince Urban Meyer to come over and coach his football team. But after starting the season 0-4, Urban Meyer embarrassed himself and he embarrassed the organization. So where do they go from here? It's about rebuilding trust. It's about playing better football and he's getting better football play out of his number one overall pick, Trevor Lawrence. For Miami, on the other hand, they started off the season with high expectations. A year ago, they were 10-6, and six, missed the playoffs barely at the end of the season in the final week of the season. And they started off in week one with a win in Foxborough against the Patriots. Since then, they have not won a game, though. And today, they welcome back their quarterback from cracked ribs, Tua Tonga Vailoa. Well, it's important for a healthy Tua Tonga Vailoa. He's 7-4 and four as a starter for the Dolphins. He hasn't played in a month, and he's got some fractured ribs. So how he handles all that and how quickly he's able to heal and deal with the pressure that Jacksonville will apply. And Melanie downstairs adding to the mix here a lot of injury issues for Miami. That's right, Kevin. A number of key issues on both sides. Tua is back, but he's down two of his top targets in wide receivers, Devontae Parker and Preston Williams. Defensively, the Dolphins are also down their top two cornerbacks. Xavier Howard is out, and then Byron Jones, kind of a late add to the inactives today. He was limited all week, tried to warm up today, and just could not get to a place where he felt good enough to go. Sticking with defense, let's talk Jaguars. Linebacker Miles Jack, one of the defensive leaders, out with a back injury today. And then offensively, starting center Brandon Lindner, out with a knee injury. So Trevor Lawrence and this Jaguars offense will have Tyler Shatley at center today, guys. Now, good point. Speaking of Lawrence, you've watched a lot of tape on the number one overall pick this week. Well, and he has some growing pains like you would expect. Early on, he had his struggles. Only 54% completion in the first three games. Last couple of games, 70% complete. We're going to go green and look at some of the things that he's done well and start off with a play he didn't do so well. As a young quarterback, you get stuck staring down receivers. This is what happens. You stare down a receiver receiver, defense is going to take advantage of it and take an interception. Today, he will face a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. Get the ball out of your hands, find the matchup you like best, and make an accurate throw. They will lean on James Robinson today. The run game got going a week ago. The second year running back, undrafted. He is fourth in the NFL in rushing. They will look for that run game to get him going. About 65 degrees in London today. They think the sun's going to come out. Let's go to our public address announcer, Alan Roach, here at Tottenham. Ladies and gentlemen, to sing the national anthem of Great Britain, British Army veteran Lance Corporal Marilia Simpson. God save the gracious queen, Lord. singing of the national anthem of the United States of America, United States Air Force Staff Sergeant Denver Murphy. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we 
the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and the bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets are red clear the bombs bursting in air gave Peru through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled 